I grew up listening to records. I had a pretty respectable collection, a few hundred maybe. I had records I loved, records I pretended to love because I thought they made me look cool, and records that embarrassed me, but secretly I knew every word to every song. But then I got rid of them, all of them. At some point in the late 90s, I sold or gave away my records. I traded them in for CDs or MP3s. But then 20 years later, I decided I wanted them back. Not something similar, not reissues. I'm talking my exact records, the ones I'd given away. I'd recognize them if I saw them or, you know, smelled them. You getting a little mulch? Yeah, a little, a little, a little, like I'm thinking like weed. Like, is there anything mm. weed like about? I mean, I I mean like specifically like 1992, like really terrible skank quality weed that maybe you were hiding from your. Uh, I don't really smoke weed, so. Like at all, or just? Nope, I haven't smoked weed in a really really long time. Wow. I mean, I, you, you have like the ten-minute song about spiders. So I just, I just kind of. Could you, could you smell it again and see if there was any other drugs in there? I would be able to tell you if there were Vicodin in here. <laughs> there aren't. I wanted the records covered in muddy boot prints with names or secret messages carved into the sides like prison tattoos. I wanted the scratches. I put them there myself. They'd borne witness to the things that happened to me worth remembering, and all the shitty moments where it felt like the only thing holding me together were gloriously sloppy punk riffs. This is probably uh, the sexiest uh, Billy Joel record that you've ever, I, ever I smelled. I can smell it from here. You, you can, I can smell it? That, that it's it's disgusting. So what, what, I mean, what kind of, what, what kind of backstory would you say with this? What, what, um, what imagery comes to mind when you smell? This particular, uh, a, I picture a retirement party for a stripper. It's a, a, a stripper. A stripper, but at, like an at, older at her retirement party. So it doesn't. There's nothing about it that says like really attractive 15 year old girl that I, I you might have been secretly in love with who, you know, had this in, in bed, her bedroom. Nothing. None of that was. That became a stripper, maybe, hmm. possibly. So I set out to find them again. I knew it might involve digging through some bins and crates and sure, a weird old dude's crawl space or two. I'd have to call ex-girlfriends and old college roommates and guys I haven't seen since grade school, one of whom may have spent a little time in jail. Whatever, let's not get all judgy. You do what you have to do to get your records back, to help them come home, because old records never die. I'm not sure if that's a boot print, Eric. Irregardless, let's, let's just assume it's a it's a it's a boot print. No, it's like if you see it's someone just, sat on that with a very muddy ass. But where is the mud from? Is what I like. Uh, give me a region. Like we're thinking like Midwestern salt of the earth area. Uh, 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 Kansas. Sa sausage is important. To these Switzer people, Switzerland. Uh, 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 no, the politicians don't really believe in human rights. Um, that it, doesn't that doesn't narrow it down. Cheesy, cheesy air. Football has a significance. Does does this feel Wisconsin esque to you? Uh, I I suppose <laughs> I don't know why. Thank you. It's, That's my but record. I still want to know why. I'm it's just going to go. Can I just go with the the first the Wisconsin guess? Could I go with that as a thing? You can do whatever you want, Eric. It's you, your book. You, <laughs> you confirm this for me. You don't need me to verify that. That is absolutely nobody else has a copy of Let It Bleed that is destroyed like that. Really? In that particular way. Well, then that's absolutely a yes. Then. Mm -hmm.